Hi everybody and welcome to the 2023 All Northwest Wind and Percussion Audition Materials Set B Baritone Saxophone Edition. I'm joined by Olivia Salzman Kuhn, a UVO Saxophone Studio member, and she's going to play all this very awesomeness for us. We're going to start off with the chromatic scale. <laughs> <laughs> you did all of it in one breath. That is huge. Now, why won't you tell the people who are practicing this at home and they can't make it all the way because they have like a really hard read on and they play loud so the air won't go as, as far. Right. I would probably breathe before your C natural on the descending end. That's your pentultimate second to last bar right before that C. That'd be a great spot. So go ahead and play to a downbeat. Stop. Play that downbeat again and then get to the rest of the excerpt. It's really a good idea to plan your breaths ahead of time and mark them in your part so that you're not surprised when it's time to record. So let's move on to the Bach. I want to show everybody how we tune the baritone saxophone. So if you don't mind taking a moment and playing for us F sharp, F sharp, B, and B. And we have a tuner here on the stand. We're going to be looking at the pitch. <laughs> not just one note so we have a better average of the tuning tendency of the horn. Maybe pull out a yeah. little yeah. tiny bit a lot more. more. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a really great idea to check your tuning before you start recording because tone color and tuning are two sides of the same coin. So here we go. Here is some Bach. on the Bach and trying to make it better? I would say to follow the dynamics and make a big difference and to use the articulations to make a big change in character. The ba -ba -da 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 -da, I'm kind of looking for sequences to make sure mm -hmm. it's going somewhere or coming back from something. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Alright, you probably noticed that none of our Barry excerpts were written originally for the baritone saxophone. So the best advice I can give you is to go and look up the original. So for example, our next track was originally for bassoon, the Carl Maria von Weber concerto. Go online on YouTube, it takes two seconds and just type Weber bassoon concerto movement two. And you will hear, when you listen to it, you will hear that our excerpt has a pretty big typo at the end that I want to alert you to. So at the very, very, very end, the part that you have in your hand, the printed notes are A, B. But if you listen to the bassoon excerpt, you would hear that the melody actually ends with F sharp G. Olivia is going to play the melody not as written in your packet, but the way it is actually done in the bassoon original. All right, here we go. <laughs> Mm. 
Our final selection, Telemann, is just a lot of fun. You just get to go in D minor, and it's not that tricky, and you get to play low A, which is awesome. Always, yeah. Always, right? Um, my only recommendation is that you don't go too fast, so the articulation in the second to last measure don't get messed up. And if at all possible, go check out the original articulation in the bassoon. It's a little more articulated than in what is printed in the excerpt. All right, here we go. Tell them on. <laughs> Parting thoughts. There is so much amazing original music for bassoon out there. Uh, Kate Nishimura wrote an amazing piece. Uh, McMichael wrote a piece called Fusion Suite that's awesome. So right after this, I'm going to be putting up five pieces you should know about for baritone saxophone that you can play right now that are original for bari. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Thank you so much, Olivia. Thank you. It's great. Sounds so good <laughs> on baritone saxophone. Hopefully you got to see what kind of equipment she's playing on. And we will see you all soon. All right. Bye.